Hey guys, this is Sydney, and today I'm finally going to be reacting to Come Over When You're Sober. Part 1, obviously, because the second one hasn't come out. So basically, if you don't know this already about me, I've been putting reacting to Little Peep off for the longest. Because I wanted to do it at the right time. Like, in, in the general, I just put it off, I guess. So I've only heard two full Little Peep songs. I've probably heard, like, a little tiny bit of, like, random songs, but... That's pretty much it, but I remember the first song I heard from Peep out of the two was Gym Class in Bro. When that song played, that shit made me cry because fuck shit was just going fucking down and I was just in the back of a car and I was like, oh fuck. So I'm not gonna lie, I cried to that. Let me say, everybody is gonna come at me for being late to him. But I, also, I still have to react to like Brockhampton and like BTS and all these other people. So it's not even fucking like that. I did this just because he passed away or whatever the fuck. After he passed, especially, I wanted to wait till the right time to do it. And right now in my life, I think this is the right time to do it or listen to this shit. So I guess I'll react to the videos at the same time as I react to the album. Yeah, without further fucking ado, bro. I put this off for way too long. Let's do this shit. Ben's truck. This is gonna be so trippy, bro, because I literally only heard like two songs from him. And I liked um, gym class and all that shit, so I know I'm gonna like him. He low key is kind of cute. Look at him, bro. It's Bodhi Dudes. I don't know what any of this is saying. Is this Russian? All the Russians are gonna be like, Zakni Suchka. Yeah, what is P? Is he Russian? I don't know what this fucking language is. <laughs> Damn, why does that sign say all alone? Hmm. Oh, is this. I think they're in Moscow. Maybe. Yell at me if I'm wrong. Yell at me. You can suck my dick. Okay, Loki, I want to see if this is Russian. Basically, I got these Russian candies. Let me see if it's the language. Um, and Tasha and Raya are Russian. Fun fact if you didn't fucking know. Yeah, Ruskaya. Not really. <laughs> it looks like Russian. <laughs> Sorry for that unnecess unnecessary ass shit. But next song, I guess. In loving memory of my son, Gus. Oh, and little Haley showed me a picture of his mom wearing his clothes the other day. Cause apparently she wears his clothes now and that's honestly really cute. But I feel super bad for her, like, rest in peace. His hair was always so fire, bro. He had a lot of hairstyles too. Who is that girl? I've seen her before. His phone is cracked about. Who's G? Oh, Gus. I apologize. I'm dumb. I thought it was on his phone that I said G. Did you have a Justin Bieber shirt on in that part? Bieber was a Justin Bieber shirt. I wonder if they were friends or something. Damn, who is that about then? I wonder if that's his phone. I'm not sure. But, damn. But I'm assuming they just kind of hired um, the girl actor for that one after he passed. Maybe he had a vision for the video. I'm not sure. Or maybe that was the exact video he wanted and it was finished before he passed. But I feel like they just took as much stuff as they could and put it in there. He probably had a vision. People probably knew about the vision and tried to do as much as they could with it. But yeah, that was a cute little number. Who is that about? Who is it about though? Okay, Awful Things feet Lil Tracy. I think Lil Tracy's is like, is that the guy that was like friends with him? That always made music with him? I know some things about Lil Peep, but I just haven't listened to like his music really. A fat minute back, I remember seeing his profile picture. The little fucking chicken. So I, I already vibed with the mans before I even like heard any of his shit. Like, that's my dues for having the little chicken. Anyways, awful things. Feed little Tracy. Oh, 
I was gonna go get something, but he's so cute. Dab, drugs are bad. <laughs> Why is there hot dog fucking posters? Damn. I'm sorry, that looks like Bexy and Matt Ox combined. The hot dogs. He's glowing. I like his pants. His clothes is always so cool. Ashes are pure as form, it says on the lighting. No, bro, she need to chill. <gasps> that kid said, what the fuck? Damn, that lighter, what it said on that lighter was foreshadowing. He's fucking burning, bro. Halloweener. Damn, where was little Tracy in this? What part did he sing? I thought it was peep the whole time. Damn. That's some shit. I, l I really liked that video. That might have been like my favorite video so far out of these. All these are so cute, but that one was like, it had a thing to it. Or like a crazy story to it. Bro, he fucking lit his ass on fire. But this was what I was going to get, but didn't end up getting. Cause like, bro, I couldn't look away from that shit. But we have this little chicken and he's cushy. And we call him little peep. I got him last Christmas. And we named him Little Peep when we got him. And we would always bring him in the trap car and shit. He he was there. He saw some shit. Little Peep. I guess I'll sit him right here so he can watch this. <laughs> and to be honest, even though these songs are kind of sad, I'm kind of happy right now. I wasn't feeling too hot when I stepped in front of this camera. Like, I really fucking wasn't, bro. But yeah, got me in some type of mood. You said. This one's just audio, it's no music video. His voice is the type of voice you want to hear blasting on some car speakers. Like maybe at night or something like that, just blasting like his songs in the car. That's that's what, how I heard one of his first songs, so I know it vibes. I know it vibes. Is the song gonna switch out for a real one? His tattoos are really cool. None of them are really like super, super quality or anything. They're just there. And it's just his aesthetic. Like if he had some like really put together tattoos, like, mm -mm. like he just has like nice ones, right? Like him, like it fits his ass. I like the racing flags on the side of his head a lot. And the little lease on his neck. Hmm. What did I think about that song? It switched up on us just like that. It really did. Oh yeah, and I was kind of excited to see or hear the songs in this album and what they meant because I knew the I knew the album name, Come Over When You're Sober. And the way I took that is how do I explain this sentence? Personally for me, I'd rather have someone say something approach me while they're sober. How do I even say this? Like this is this is never gonna make sense. But if somebody tried to like come at me or do something when they were like not sober, I would just be like, bro, if you actually feel this way, then come at me when you're sober. Tell me this when you're sober. Do this when you're sober. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah. Better off. This one doesn't have a music video either. Part two comes out the day before my birthday, so let me know if I should react to that. I probably will. And Skins is coming out soon too. Jesus, his eyes in this album cover like the way he's just like looking at you. I, bro, he dead ass like is right there in front of me. Like this shit's like that's so weird. I can't look at like the fucking album cover. He dead ass stares into your fucking eyes. Holy fucking shit.
So I will never, or at least at this point in my life, I won't be able to fully understand the songs as much as somebody that struggles or does like drugs and stuff like that. Because basically like from all I know, Peep did drugs. I'm not sure like what all he was into, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, a lot of people in general do fucking fuck shit, do drugs and shit. But if you have not tried any of that, then please never do because that stuff will get you stuck. I've seen this, even though I, I've been sober for 17 years. So right now I cannot connect to this as much as other people. The stuff he speaks about is a huge part of the reason his fan base understands him. But if you're doing drugs, please stop. And if you ever need somebody to talk to, then DM me on Instagram. My Instagram will be in the bio. You can DM me whatever you want. Okay, the bright side. <laughs> Look at this little emo scream on ass. He always be going somewhere. He be in these foreign places. Does he speak another language? Okay, he's so wrong. His concerts look pretty dope. That shit looks so cool. And that's another thing, like, I do regret getting into the a lot of people late, especially Pete, because I could, I could I never get the chance to go to his show. But I would have loved to go to, like, one of his shows. Look at him, he's so cute. Like, his fans, like, give a fuck, bro. It's just unfortunate. Like, a lot of people gave a fuck about him. But this is the last song, I guess. Problems. Doesn't have a music video either. It's so weird to look at the out, like to look at, like he's staring like into my eyes on God. That was the last song, I think. I think I got all the songs because I just pulled up a playlist on YouTube of the album. So what should I say? Like, okay. I guess I'll go over a few things just involving Peep in general because I haven't had much time to talk about Peep because I haven't really listened to him, I guess. But, okay, this album, I, I, did, re I did enjoy it. And when did X get the little heart tattoo? And when did Peep get the little uh, heartbreak tattoo? And does anybody else have those tattoos? Because I don't know. And no, I did not put off Peep because the beef between, I don't, e I don't even re remember who it was between. I think it was between Ski and something like that. So X didn't fuck with him. Because everybody that watches my channel or has been watching my channel for a minute, like, should know I'm a big fucking X fan, but that had nothing to do with it. But how old was Peep? I think he was somewhere in his 20s or something. So I wish these young people had the chance to reach a higher potential because if they were still here, you know they would have been, like, putting more work in and putting more dope stuff out into the universe and this and that. But everything happens for a reason, and hopefully Peep... I know his death did impact people and make them think, but I don't think it made people like change their ways completely. It probably made a few people change their ways, but it's unfortunate that people can see someone they truly fuck with pass away like that from this reason and still like go down a path similar to his. I know it's not like easy to stop, but I know I, I know I say this a lot, but I encourage everybody that is doing it to please, please like find help. Cause just because you're in that spot now does not mean you have to stay in that spot and that you're hopeless. It does not mean that. Like you can always like switch it up. Like no matter what point you're at your lowest point, you can still turn around and like sober dope shit. Um, yeah. Should I react to part two? Oh, this is what I want to do with part two. I want to get a bunch of peep fans 
together or people that listen to Peep more than I do or more than I have and listen to part two because that'd be really fun I think for other fans viewing for them to see how big ass Peep fans feel about that and I think it'd just be like a fun vibe but yeah comment down below what's your favorite song from this album and also if you want me to react to more peep songs that aren't on this album then please tell me suggestions please 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 tell me suggestions because i won't really know what songs i should react to but yeah i think that's pretty much it i apologize for not having too much to say at the end and whatever but i love you guys thank you for watching see you later bye oh yeah Rest in peep. I always say that. I always say that. Rest in peep. Rest in peace, little peep. Rest in peep, guys. <laughs> Rest in peep, guys. There we go.